Matt here for ThoughtSpark. The Space Shuttle. It has been a iconic spacecraft bringing men and women to low Earth orbit for the 30 years that it was in service for. It has launched many of satellites and spacecraft such as Galileo and Hubble and helped build the International Space Station. But just as a thought experiment here, just what would it take to get the Space Shuttle fleet spaceworthy and out of retirement again? This is what we're going to take a look at today. First off, without a doubt, this would be a ginormous waste of money. The cost just to get one orbiter on the launch pad again would be absolutely striking to say the least. Where the space shuttles are now in a museum, a lot had to be done to make them safe for public viewing. A lot of the internal stuff like the fuel tanks and fuel lines for the ohms thrusters and control thrusters had to be removed. And a lot of this stuff during the removal process was destroyed, so these would have to be remanufactured again and installed. You would also have to load up all the electrical and cooling equipment, avionics, as well as all the life support systems. The solid rocket boosters and external fuel tanks would have to be remanufactured. See where this is getting pretty expensive? Plus, there are a few RS-25 shuttle engines left in existence. These could just be reinstalled. Oh, and let's not forget some brand new 45 and a half by 1621 Michelin tires, as all these years sitting in a museum has probably made them flat spotted and or dry rotted. Not very good. Why not update the landing gears on all the shuttles as well while we're at it, eh? So as you can see, this is the part that just rules everything, and that is money. The shuttle program cost a total of $209 billion making the average launch cost around one and a half billion dollars. A lot of this money was put towards pre-launch safety checks. Never mind billions more, to say the least perhaps, of refurbishing the entire shuttle fleet. In addition to this, 14 people have lost their lives during the shuttle program in its entirety. So I think it's best that the space shuttles stay right where they are for public viewing and admiration and we work towards safer and more reliable ways of getting to low Earth orbit and beyond. Well, I hope you found this video interesting and it made you think a little bit. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Why not share with somebody who may also enjoy this content? And as always, thanks for watching and stay curious.